it's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Three things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Nice to have you here today as we start our 27th season. We've got six outstanding elementary students here to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First, from Martin Luther King Middle School, would you please say hello to Matthew Stroud. Jacob Jett and Cal Tuliao. And from Stephen Decatur Middle School, our contestants, Joshua Terman, Shelby Leach, and Celeste Walsh. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board is devised so that the easier questions are on the left, the tougher ones on the right, worth 15, 20, ultimately 25 points. Both of our teams start out with 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to this year's semifinals. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Jacob, could you try the buzzer for the red team? All right, they've got that joint push going on over there. You guys look pretty confident. Good luck to all of you. And Shelby, would you try the green buzzer? And it too seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, to Celeste and Joshua, Kyle, Jacob, Matthew. Let's have a great game, all right? All right, we go alphabetically M before S. So Martin Luther King, could you start out the science bowl? Give me a category and a question. Jacob. Okay, can we have ten, green things for 10, please? Green things for 10 to start our game. Teams, the oldest trees at Mount Vernon, planted actually by George Washington, produce nuts that are associated with this very sweet pie. Jacob on Martin Luther King. What kind of trees are they? Apple. Not apple trees, no. The nuts from these oldest trees planted at Mount Vernon by George Washington are associated with a very sweet pie, Stephen Decatur. I'll pass this to Celeste. Pecan. Pecan pie, absolutely right. Oh, I can yeah. taste it right now. Thanks, Celeste. Good comeback. All right, go green. Um, body system for 15. Body system for 15, please. Body systems, 15 points. Team, this is rather disturbing. Some insurance companies are now penalizing and denying coverage to people who donate one of these organs, saying that they now suffer from chronic nephritis. Kidney. Stephen Decatur? Kidney. Kidney, absolutely right, yes. So you're trying to do good and you're being penalized and now being categorized as someone who is sick because you have lost one of your kidneys. Good answer, go green. Let's get physical for 15, please. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, if you followed the NBA, the National Basketball Association, last year's final pitted Miami against Oklahoma City. But it sounded like a clash of meteorological phenomena because of the names of the teams. Can you give me either one, the Miami or the Oklahoma City team? Jacob, Miami Heat. The Miami Heat and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Heat and Thunder. Yeah. All right, go. Red. Let's go body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, all of us know who Steven Strasburg is, the great pitcher from the Nationals. He was sidelined a year ago because he had Tommy John surgery because he tore this L initial connector in his right elbow. Steven Decatur. Ligament. A ligament, absolutely right. Good answer. Go. Uh, Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, those three sugar substitutes that you see in the restaurants with the blue and the yellow and the pink envelopes, they are regarded by the Food and Drug Administration as G-R-A-S. That stands for generally regarded as what? Stephen Decatur. Sugar. Sugar. Not sugar. Good try. 
These artificial sweeteners, the FDA categorizes them as GRAS. They are considered generally regarded as what? Matthew. Sweeteners? Safe. Safe. They are generally regarded as safe. Go again, green. Uh, Zuprade for 15, please. Zuprade, 15 points. Teams, there have been lots of fossils found for bears, but there is one kind of bear for which there are practically no fossils because it spends most of its life living on ice flows. <coughs> Stephen Decatur. Polar bear. Polar bears, yes. They're never on solid land. There's never anywhere for bones to accumulate. So it makes total sense. Go green. Green things for 15, please. Green things for 15 points. <laughs> Some people are saying, well, now that the government is going to force us to buy health care, maybe one day they'll tell us we have to eat these kind of green cruciferous vegetables that look like little trees because they're good for us. Stephen Decatur? Broccoli. Broccoli, that's right. Everybody seems to hate broccoli. Even a former president of the United States, George Herbert Walker Bush, said, my mother said eat it, and I hated it. Go green. Uh, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, Hurricane Isaac's storm surge was so strong last summer that it caused this river to flow backwards for almost 12 hours. Martin Luther King. The Mississippi. Mississippi River, that's right. Actually, at New Orleans, you could see that water going backwards as strong as that storm was. Good answer. Okay, come on. 75 to 115. Martin Luther King, you got some territory to make up here. Can we go to Dateline Science for 15? Dateline for 15 points. Teams, back in 1610, this Italian scientist discovered four of Jupiter's moons and the craters. Martin Luther King? Galileo. Galileo even found the craters on our moon as he was using his telescope. Yes, sir. Nicely done. Go. Cool. Can I get Zoo Parade for five? You certainly can. Zoo Parade for five points, teams. Last year's blockbuster movie, The Avengers, starred a femme fatale superhero that had the same name. Black Jacob? Oh. Or, That's me. Who's going to answer? To Kyle. Black Widow. Black Widow. Absolutely right. Black Widow it was. I was about to say a very dangerous spider. Go, Kyle and the rest of the red team. Um... Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, so much ice has melted on the island of Greenland that it's losing its so-called albedo effect, which is what happens when light hits ice. What does it do? What does it do when light hits ice? Shelby. Melt? No, it doesn't melt. Martin Luther King, it's losing its albedo effect there on Greenland as all of the ice melts. Because when light hits ice, what does it do? It changes color? No, it reflects. It reflects back up. It reflects back up. All right. The buzzer is sound. That was a quick first round. You guys are playing really, really well. We're going to give you a little bit of a break here. Our score is 95 for Martin Luther King, 115 for Stephen Decatur. Close match. We'll be back with round two of Science Bowl in just a moment. Don't you go away. Hi, I'm Jordan Sparks, and my I Matter You campaign is all about making a difference, and SOS Children's Villages does just that. I cannot believe how many children SOS has helped around the world by building villages, helping abandoned children, and giving them a mother and house to grow up in. I'm calling on everyone that I know to support SOS in their efforts to help kids at risk of abandonment in countries like Sudan, Vietnam, and Haiti. SOS helps these children over the long term, and you can make a real difference in a child's life. M-A-D, making a difference. That's what it's all about, and SOS is one of the best. You've got to check them out at SOSUSA.org. SOS Children's Villages gives homes and hope to children in need all around the world. Join SOS and Jordan Sparks in making a difference. Visit SOSUSA.org to learn more.
and welcome back to Science Ball. Hope you're enjoying this great game. These six outstanding young people. Let's find out a little bit more about them and why they're here. Let's go over to Martin Luther King. The school is currently the reigning Science Bowl champ, and not to put any pressure on you guys, but it's great to have you here. You're part of a grand tradition over there. Tell us about Martin Luther King. It's over in Beltsville. Who's your principal, Jacob? Mrs. Robinson Wilson. Absolutely, and she's a huge fan of you and of Science Bowl. And who's the sponsor of your team? Miss Butler. Miss Butler, and Miss Butler has been part of our team for many, many years. And last year, she was selected as one of the best science teachers of the area. She got an award, and we're very proud of her for that. Well deserved. Any alternates on your team, Jacob? Yes, we have one, which is Isaiah Gill. Wonderful, and we'll bring him out with Miss Butler in just a few moments. Tell us what you really like about Martin Luther King. Well, it's just a good school, and we learn about science most of the time. Yeah. And it's just a fun school to be here. I like that response. It's just a good school. You know, if, if a school is good, it's just good, and you know it. It's the good teachers. It's got, you've got uh, great support, great facilities. And someday, Jacob, you're going to grow up, and what do you hope to do? Um, first, I'm going to go to ITT Tech, and then I'm going to become a civil engineer. Civil engineer. All right. Uh, you're a good team captain. And, of course, you've been on our show before. Yes. You were here with the Bond Mill team, and it's nice to have you back. And, Kyle, you were here before. Yes. The Berwyn Heights School, and uh, this is how many appearances for you on Science Bowl? Uh, two, actually. Two appearances. That's great. Tell us about yourself. What do you see in your future? Uh, I aspire to become a biochemical engineer when I grow up. Wow. Why so? Artist. What's that? And an artist. And an artist. Because you draw, don't you? Yeah. What do you draw? Uh, cartoons, anime, manga. Yeah. Yeah. All around talented guy. You've come up with some good answers so far. You keep it up in the second half. Matthew, new to the program, and I asked him earlier how he qualified to be on this team, and he said, well, I took a test at the school, and I just wiped them all out. I got the highest score. He was more humble than that. He was far more humble. Oh, it was Jacob. Okay. All right. So I appreciate your honesty. Matthew, first time on the show. Why'd you want to be here? Well, because I like science, and I tried out before at Bond Mill, the school he, he made the team on, yeah. and uh, I didn't make it, so I wanted to try again. All right, so here you are. You're on the team, and you're doing a great job. What do you want to do someday? Uh, I don't know. Something that has to do with math and science. Yeah. But a lot of choices out there, right? A lot of choices. Yeah, well, you've got plenty of time. Nice to have you with us. Stephen Decatur, nice to have you guys here in your matching red shirts. That's the eighth grade uniform down there. Is that right? Yep. And uh, Shelby, you were part of the team last year as an alternate. Yeah. Now you're in the big leagues. They called you up, and you're doing a great job as captain over there. Who's the principal of your school? Uh, Mr. Barry Cyrus. Wonderful. And I know he's been here on our set a number of times. I know how much he appreciates all that you've done to be here today, and we're, uh, we're as proud of you as he is. Who's the sponsor of your team? Miss Anglin. Yes, and this is her first year. She's coming from high school, and we're very excited to have her as part of the Science Bowl family. And any alternates on your team? Um, we have four. Maria. We have four. Maria Towns, Reyesa. Teach you. Don't, Kim is you. don't worry Kim is you. about that. When they come up, we'll have them yeah. introduce themselves. That's a long list to remember. <laughs> we appreciate, in fact, I met the alternates earlier, and they were shaking. I said, are you cold? And I said, we're just a little bit nervous. And they're not even on set. So they're into this game, as I know you are. Tell me about your future. What do you hope to do? Um, maybe minor in something in art and design, but uh, for a big goal, to do something in engineering or physics. Wonderful. And I know you're a musical person. You mm -hmm. sing. And do you dance as well? No, I don't dance. I prefer instruments. Very good. <laughs> All right. And before I leave you, uh, let me ask you what I asked Jacob about Stephen Decatur, uh, the thing that you brag about. What do you love about that school? Um, the teachers, uh, they're very supportive. They support us. I couldn't remember that word. Uh, <laughs> they support us and they help us when we need it. They're there for us. The school's uh, good. We, the everyone just, it's just a good school. It's a good school. <laughs> That's a great way to say it. And not remembering a word is very. These lights in your eyes here sometimes it's hard to remember one's own name. Celeste, thanks for helping her out. Josh, nice to have you with us. You're interested in herpetology, right? Yep. You love reptiles. How does your family feel about that? <laughs> They were feeling that it's okay, but my grandma doesn't like reptiles. That no reptiles. No snakes in the house, huh? Nope. No. Um, so, as a herpetologist, what do you think you might do someday? Would you like to work at a, a facility like the National Zoo? Probably. Yeah. Well, um, start out, one of our judges said start out small, maybe a small anole lizard or a chameleon, something like that that's not going to get too big. Um, nice to have you on the show. You're doing a nice job here. Celeste, how about you? Um, 
You really want to help people. Mm -hmm. You have an interest in social work. Where did that, where did that come from? Um, well, my family, we're, we all help each other out, so that's kind of how it was when I was little. And then I have a few family members who are into it, so if I have any questions, I can ask them, and they help, they help me out. So I figure I want to pass that on and help others as well. Very nice. A, a tradition there that you're going to uh, perpetuate. And I know you like to swim. You live on the base. They have a good pool down there. Mm -hmm. That's just great. Keep up your nice work here. All right, let's get back to that game. 115, Stephen Decatur, 95 for Martin Luther King. Last grand sister came from the red team. So, Jacob, we have lots of points to give away. The tougher questions all remain the 20 and 25 pointers. You tell us where. Let's go Dateline Science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, the news media's favorite question to ask about science is, did this scientist really get it right about relativity? What scientist are they always questioning? Stephen Decatur? Albert Einstein. Einstein, absolutely. They can't believe that he was that brilliant. They want to kind of knock him off his pedestal. Let's find out, you know, about the speed of light. Let's see if we can change that. So far, Einstein has had the last laugh. Go green. Body system for 20. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, those of you that have iPads or want one know that they are especially easy on the eyes, especially the photosensitive layer at the very back of the eye, known as the what? Stephen Decatur. Hmm? Retina. Retina is absolutely right. Thank you, Joss. In fact, they called them retinal displays on the iPad. Well done. Go green. Let's get physical for 20, please. Let's get physical for 20 points, teams. If you buy lemon juice and you pour it with baking soda, it fizzes all over the place. But if you buy diluted lemon juice and it's too diluted, when you pour it into the baking soda, it won't cause any foaming because it is not what enough anymore. Stephen Decatur. Acidic. Acidic. Absolutely right. You've robbed it of its acidity. Nicely done. All right, you're up to 145. Green again, please. All right. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. Teams, there's a monkey called the Colobus Monkey. It has long black and white fur. It is the only monkey on Earth that lacks this characteristic primate opposable digit. Martin Luther King. Thumbs. Thumb. Oh, I got that in stereo. I like that. That's good. Don't apologize. Thumb it is. Good. All right, you're back on track. Advantage red. Um, zoo, par zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, it was great. There it was, this barnyard animal diving into a pond to save a drowning goat. You might call it poor sign altruism. They called it, what? Jacob. Symbiosis? No. Not no. symbiosis. Yeah, I think you th maybe overthought it. They called this maybe an example of porcine altruism as this animal dove in to save a drowning goat. They called it the hero what? Dog? Pig. Pig. It was a pig that dove in. Symbiosis was a very nice answer, though. Absolutely. All right, yeah, this pig had played with that goat, saw the goat was in trouble, dove in and played the lifeguard. Uh, just warms your heart. <laughs> Go red. Science Pope Brief for 20. So, uh, Science Pope Brief for 20 points. Teams, cheesemakers are trying to make their cheese more nutritious and less dangerous to your health. So they're trying to reduce the content of two things in cheese. Can you give me one? They're trying to reduce two things that there's a lot of in cheese that they'd like to lower. Give me one. Stephen Decatur. Bacteria? Not bacteria. Good try. Martin Luther King, they want to make cheese less less dangerous to your health, so they're trying to reduce two things that are in there. Give me fat. one. Fat. Fat. Fat and salt. Fat and salt. Absolutely right. All right, 135, 145, almost a tie score. Actually, it is now. We've changed that score, 155, 145. Ten-point advantage, King. Don't let him get you, Shelby. Jacob, you pick. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, scientists have discovered some butterflies in Japan that have developed mutations near Fukushima, which is the name of a famous what that was damaged during a recent tsunami. Stephen Decatur, what is Thank Fukushima? You. Famous city? Not a famous city. No, Martin Luther King, Fukushima was damaged during a recent tsunami. It's the area where they found the mutated butterflies. Prefecture? Uh, Again, please? A prefecture. 
No. Prefecture. No. Good job. It's a nuclear power plant. A nuclear power plant. The one that was badly damaged, so the radiation escaped, and that's what caused those mutations. I was hoping you would have connected the dots there. Was well, a tough question. Go red. Still 10 point advantage. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams. Plants get pollinated by many different methods, bugs, birds, wind, but after pollination occurs, what F initial term then follows when the egg and the sperm join together? Fertilize Martin Luther King. Fertilization. Fertilization, absolutely right. You got that one. Go. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. The big one in that category. Teams, long after we humans have died, the parts that survive us are our bones and our teeth. They are very hard to break down. With plants, most everything disappears except for these, which can last for centuries. What parts of plants have enduring power? Jacob. Roots. Yeah. Not roots. Roots. Not roots. No. Stephen Decatur. What parts of plants can last for centuries, can long outlast the life of that individual plant? Leaves. Leaves. Pollen grains pollen grains. They have been found in amber. You remember the movie Jurassic Park? They even found some entombed pollen grains. They are very, very tough. No points. Go again red. Advantage. Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please, for this question. Teams, you're going to see a herd of feral camels. They run wild in the outback of Australia. They are different from what kind of D-initial camels that are herded and kept in Enclosed areas. Stephen Decatur. Domestic. Domestic, absolutely right. Exactly what I want to hear. Feral means wild, domesticated, the opposite of that. Nicely done. You're back in the game here. Score 170, King 175, King 170. Stephen Decatur, five points back. Shelby, where? Body system for 25, please. Body system, the big one in that category. Teams, the question for you is the author of a new book called The Blood Sugar Solution says that. Resistance to insulin is the cause of two of this country's biggest medical problems. Give me one. Diabetes. Stephen Decatur. Diabetes. Diabetes and obesity is the other. Absolutely. Thank you for your assist, Celeste. Go. Shelby. Let's get physical for 25, please. Let's get physical for 25. Big one in that category, teams. Look at the monitor again, please. What you're going to see is what's called the manufacture of elephant toothpaste. You can make this by mixing peroxide and yeast and dishwashing liquid and foam goes all over the place. It looks like giant toothpaste. It is also an exothermic reaction, meaning it also gives off this. Stephen Decatur. Heat. Heat, absolutely right. Exo meaning giving off, thermic is heat. Nice putting together of those terms. Good, go, green. Um. Science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. We know that bacteria can mutate, but viruses very rarely do because vaccines get to them first. There is an exception. Every year we have to get revaccinated against this disease because the virus mutates every year. <coughs> Stephen Decatur. The flu. The flu, absolutely right. Influenza. HIV AIDS is another one that as uh, ability to mutate very easily. Very rare among viruses. Okay, we have a few questions left. Stephen Decatur, advantage still yours. You want to do Not really. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let's get physical. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, a favorite trick of, music of magicians is to take a spoon made of the metal gallium and to stir it into a cup of hot coffee because when you pull it out, the spoon will be gone because it does what at 84 degrees? <laughs> Stephen Decatur. Melts. It melts, that's the melting point of the metal gallium. It's a neat trick. Go, green. Body systems for five, please. Body systems for five points. Teams, Presidents Lincoln, Clinton, and Obama are all Southpaws, which means every year on August 13th, they celebrate being what? <laughs> Stephen Decatur. Uh, Passes Celeste? Left-handed. Left-handed, that's right. They're all southpaws. They are all left-handed folks. Good answer. All right, again, green. Green things for five, please. Green things for five points. Teams, last summer was so hot and dry that some homeowners went out and painted their lawns green because the grass didn't have any of this green stuff left. <laughs> Jacob. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, absolutely right. Thank you for the assist from Matthew there. Come on, Jacob, let's go. 
Day one science for 25. Day one for 25, big one in that category, teams. Recently, a group of scientists won a prize for discovering that dead salmon still have brain activity. Kind of a silly thing. In fact, they won the silly version of these very serious science prizes. Joshua? Stephen Decatur. The Nobel Peace Prize? The the Nobel Prizes is what we needed. Yes, these were called the Ig Nobels. Absolutely right. Okay, we are down to two questions. Shelby, choose. Science potpourri for five, please. Potpourri for five points, teams. Bill Gates is spending millions of dollars to find a cure for malaria. He's also trying to come up with a better version of these porcelain thrones that we have on our <laughs> Stephen Decatur. Toilets. He's trying to come up with a better toilet, more efficient and uh, better suited to the third word. Last question of the game, Dateline for five points is as follows. They say this quality killed the cat, but NASA, Stephen Decatur? Oh, curiosity. Curiosity, but NASA's newest rover is called the Curiosity. And with that, our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on our site. I saw your post on our site. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Know what to do. National do. Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. Play might be the best way to fight obesity. Because staying connected makes my family stronger, healthier, and happier. Because a safe place after school can lead to success in school. Because physical activity is vital to my health and well-being. Because I need to make my world better. Because playing team sports teaches the character and social skills that build leaders. Because learning with others makes for a greater understanding. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. for a better first game in this our 27th season we are so proud of all six of our players it was a terrific game today let's look at that final tally Martin Luther King 160 Stephen Decatur 320 what a game you guys played let's have a hand for the team in red over there Josh and Shelby and Celeste and look at all of the alternates back there just wave so we know who you are Raisa and Maria and Quina and Tony and the wonderful Miss Anglin on your first time you did a great job and Celeste dad he's very proud over there too and let's see some smiles here for the king team you guys did a wonderful job kyle and jacob and matthew great job today isaiah nice to have you here as an alternate and miss butler the best of the best when it comes to sponsors she won a huge award last year from the american institute of aeronautics and atmospherics and we're very proud of her thank you for being here today we'll see you next time on science Bowl. bye bye